testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back with another edition of Quick Hits. Sorry I've been gone for so long, I was out of town. I took my kid to Florida to see a doctor. It was the only time we could get an appointment, and then we stayed there for a few days. But it's good to be back. It's good to be back. Uh, we're going to be back two shows a day. Uh, me and Matt Hunter did a show today, uh, a full show on uh, MCR Radio, Mixed Combat Radio. Go to Mixed Combat Radio, check out the whole show. Uh, I'll put a link in here for that show as well. Um, but quick hit, which we're doing now, comes at you twice a day. Uh, we'll start again twice a day tomorrow. I know I haven't done it twice a day because I've been in time, but we're going to come at you twice a day, every day, just to keep you up to date on the latest boxing news and rumors. Uh, before we get into today's show, which is going to be a fun topic on one of the, the, the great Cuban fighters, Arislandi Laura, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Please hit the thumbs up button, the bell icon to get uh, notifications every time uh, we go live, every time we do a show, every time we drop new content. Please like and subscribe. I remember, quick hit will keep you totally up to date on all the world of boxing. Um... Find me, it's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all from social media. Let's get into today's show without any more time. Erislande, the American Dream, Laura, the two-time 154-pound world champion, is set to return on May 1st. Um, and he's getting another, I don't want to call it too fight. He's moving to 160. He's fighting Thomas LaManna. Um, Thomas LaManna had a draw at Gabe Pissarro. Uh, he lost to Jorge Coda. I don't really understand this fight. I don't know what they're doing with Laura. Laura is so gifted and so talented. He's 37 years old now. Um, I, I don't understand why they're wasting his last few good years. I mean, he's 37, right? Why are they doing this? Why don't they get him a real fight? Why don't they get him a good fight? Um, you know, he's going up to 160. Fine. But what about a, at 154? It, 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 get him a rematch with Hurt. Get him a, a, a Jamel Chawla fight, a Rosario fight. I mean, they're Brian Castano. There are so Jamel Chawla and Castano are fighting each other, but there's J Rock, there's um, Tony Harrison. There are so many. There's so much talent. Get him a rematch with Hurt. There's so much talent. Oh, Eric Lubin. There's so much talent there. To do this doesn't really make any sense at all to me, right? Um, and then to go to sixty to fight Thomas Lamont. Now the fight is for a. Uh, Regular, a WBA regular. But at this point, right, like, what does that do? It's not like, look, Laura's probably, Laura's not a Hall of Famer at this point. I, I think he has Hall of Fame talent, but they, they haven't done the right chance, you know, the right job uh, of getting him the fights. A and when his legacy is all said and done, beating Thomas Lamont is not going to change anything. Beating Cornflakes is isn't going to do anything. Um, I mean, look, Thomas Lovato isn't a top 50 middleweight. And if he's going to go up to 160, I, I, I understand they probably can't get him uh, Triple G, although they should try. I know they tried with uh, Charlo and it didn't happen. Um, and I understand he's not going to fight Jamal, uh, Jamal Charlo because they train together. Uh, Sergey Derevchenko, Rob Brandt, I mean, can, can you try to get some of these names? Like, I, I, I know you may have to work across the aisle, but Cornflakes? Are you going to Antonio Jr.? I mean, there, there are a lot of names at 160. You can get them a good fight. You, you're not relegated to doing this. Kieran Davis could do 160. Have a fight, Kieran Davis. You know, Kieran Davis can easily make 160. I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't do anything for Laura. And I'm a huge Laura fan. Laura is one of my favorite fighters of all time. I'm excited to see Laura again. But they just had him fight uh, DeLuca Bazooka. Bazooka DeLuca. Greg DeLuca, the Bazooka. He blew him out. That did nothing. They had to fight Canelo's little brother before that. That did nothing. Right? Like, what is with these fights? He had a great fight with Castano. Castano was, I think, the, probably the best guy in the weight class. He had a, he fought a, to, they fought each other to a draw. 
In fact, a lot of people think Laura won. A lot of people think Kisana won. It's kind of split 50-50, right? But get him a rematch with her. Get him another big fight. This is this this is frustrating to watch because they're wasting away his last couple of years. And I get that he'll, technically he'll be a two division world champ if he gets a title at one sixty. Guys, he's fighting Cornflake Lamana after fighting Deluca. I mean, he, he just go and I don't understand why they had so much trouble getting him named. Goucher was a decent name. Hurd was a decent name. What's wrong with a J Rock fight at fifty four? I, mean, I it doesn't say nothing in the article I've read says he can't make fifty four anymore. I think he's just going up because he doesn't feel like cutting the weight anymore. But at sixty, there's still better fights. You have a fight, Kieran Davis at sixty. That's a great fight. This is this is it's going to be May first. Um, it's May first. It's on the Ruiz um, Ariola card, which we'll probably do a show on. We'll probably do a show on the Ariola uh, and Andy Ruiz card. Um, it's going to be in California now, and the, the Laura. Uh, Cornflake Lamana fight will be the will be on PBC. I mean, it'll be on uh, Fox Sports One. Um, in the lead up, of the free portion will be the main event of that. Um, I, I don't understand why they're wasting the the rest of Arislandi Laura. He's still in that conversation at one fifty four. If he wants to go to one sixty, get him. Have him fight Eubank. You have him fight somebody good, Darvinchenko. You know, I mean, Korobop, somebody. Cornflake Lamana. I mean, I, I get it's his first fight there. I get it's for a regular belt, but you're wasting him. There's no reason to be doing this to Eris Lundy Laura. I mean, Eris Lundy Laura has not had a Hall of Fame career, although I think he's a Hall of Fame talent. Now he's not going to get in because you're just wasting him. You, you go through his resume and what PBC has done with him. It's, it's a crime in Italy. It really is. Yuri Foreman. Uh, you know, can you get him anything? It's... Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, th th there's the the most avoided man in boxing, and, and, he, and he was for a while. Uh, but he can get a fight now. He can, You can get him a good fight. Like, you can't get him Lubin? Jason Rosario, none of these guys will fight him? Let me know what you guys think. Is this a waste of uh, his time? I mean, I'm hopefully they're paying him well. But are they wasting away the, the, the rest of our Ariston and Laura? Um because this is disappointing to me. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share in all forms of social media. Again, that's 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, it is March 24th, uh, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get that the chance. Let's get uh, Iron Boy in. Um, remember, uh, to like and subscribe. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Every day, eight to ten minutes. We'll be back two shows tomorrow. Uh, make sure to check out my show with uh, Matt the Hipster Hunter on Mixed Combat Radio. Link is in the description. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. I'm having trouble today, guys. I'm out of town for a week. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.